So in this last programming assignment is a true member of the set of shortest programming assignments in the world because it can be solved with just one line of code. So all you have to do is this. Now since this is our set of values of our distribution and we've chosen to store any finite subset by giving this subset an a start index which is called the offset all you have to do in order to move that distribution to the left or right is you have to modify that offset and you don't have to touch those values. So you construct a new distribution, you leave the values as they are and you just add the delta to the existing offset and then give those two arguments to the constructor of the distribution class. So we went only halfway with our task of modeling the error. We now modeled the error in position and we said now our position is not a single point anymore, it's a distribution. We moved that distribution, ended up here and here and so on. So meaning the only thing we modeled is the error in the initial position. So in reality, it is rather like that. We start in a position and it may even be the case that in the start position, we know exactly where we are. For example, the robot might sit in his docking station or charging station and go from there. So this will be 1.0 probability. And now we move. And now during this movement, we have some uncertainty. And this is modeled by a distribution. So the movement as such may be given by a distribution as this one. And then after the movement, this error in movement translates into an error in position. And this makes perfectly sense because there's no inherent error of position that the robot carries around with itself, but rather the error in position is due to the fact that the robot moves itself using some machinery that is not exact. And now this movement is quite easy to understand, reducing this distribution from that distribution. But what happens if you go on here? How does this figure look like? And that's rather easy. Let's look at this. Say in the beginning, we knew our position is at zero meters. And so we told our robot to move for 100 centimeters. And it ended up here at position 100. And that happened with the probability of 0.5. But also we might have an undershoot. So the robot ended up at 99 centimeters, the probability of 0.25, or at 101 centimeters with a probability of 0.25. So now we have three different positions where the robot can be, corresponding to this distribution. Now we tell the robot again to move for one meter. So it will end up here at 200 centimeters. So I had three possible positions here. Tell me how many positions will I have down here? 